Hello everyone, here is Lady talking about the movie for you. It was a breathtaking scene on the highway. A dog got out of the car window. The front half of his body ran wildly on the road, with his paw still in the car. And the dog owner was scared in a cold sweat. The dog's name is Marley, and his owner is a newly married couple, Rachel and John. Rachel is a powerful career woman. She is vigorous and resolute at work, but a life idiot. She can't even tell sugar from salt. John is a frontline reporter who has been repeatedly rejected in his work, but writing had always been his dream. Both of them wanted a child, but worried that they wouldn't be a qualified parent. Her friend suggested getting a dog. Dogs will let you experience what it's like to be a parent. Neither Rachel nor John has experience in raising dogs. They heard that Labrador is the best choice for novice dog owners as a natural guide dog. The Labrador has a gentle disposition. It's the lowest difficulty of the novice copy. The two hit it off and picked a Labrador. In the corner of the pet store, boss unexpectedly said, this dog is on sale. The price is less than half of other dogs. The two were happy. It was even on sale, but they didn't hear the boss's final explanation. They were excited to name it Marley and began to look forward to the joy of raising a dog. But cheap things aren't really cheap. Rachel and John are about to experience the high price behind the bargain. As soon as Marley got home, he started a crazy demolition mode, biting the wall to pieces, taking away the clothes that had just been hung, and knocking over all the dog food. After a while, the house was completely messed up. That wasn't enough. Marley saw his chance, grabbed something and broke off his leash and ran as fast as he could. Rachel and John chased Marley around 15 blocks before they found him. Rachel and John locked Marley in the garage. That night, however, there was a thunderstorm, and Marley screamed so loudly that John had to put him by his bed. The next day, John was licked by tongue in his sleep. He opened his eyes to see the wadding flying from the pillow. No other way, the two decided to send Marley to a professional dog training camp. But no matter what the professional dog trainers did, Marley was unimpressed. When he was pressed, he flew over and knocked down the coach. Marley was expelled on the first day of class and watched Marley dropping out to go home. Rachel felt exhausted, but John laughed. He serialized Marley's story and it became a hit. The owner was so happy that he even started a new column for Marley. Rachel tells John that she is pregnant. The two were thrilled. To celebrate the pregnancy, John gave Rachel a diamond necklace. Unnoticed, Marley swallowed the necklace all at once. John had to wait for Marley to pull the necklace out and find the glittering necklace in a pile of excrement. But whenever Rachel wears the necklace, she always feels a strange smell. One day, John took Rachel to the hospital for a maternity checkup. But doctors told them, There's no heartbeat, John. The news broke Rachel's heart. Back home, Marley, always cranky, was in a different mood, as if knowing what happened. Lying on Rachel's lap meekly, Rachel couldn't stand it anymore. She hugged Marley and burst into tears. Those tickets from your parents for the honeymoon in Ireland. We could finally do that. We take some time off. Debbie, welcome to our home. Marley is a spirited dog who loves interaction. We've never left him before, but we are sure he'll behave just as he does when we're at home. I am a dog person, but that's not a dog. That is evil with a dog face that is humping my leg and peeing on your carpet. Marley! Rachel is pregnant again, and John scrambles to get things ready for the hospital. Marley came to help, taking Rachel to the hospital. Rachel gave birth to a lovely baby. The child is so young, what if he gets hurt by Marley? John also began to worry that if Marley confuses the child with the fleshy bones, the consequences will be disastrous. Rachel insisted on introducing the baby to Marley. A miracle happened. When Marley saw the baby, Marley, who always had a bad temper, become extremely docile in front of the baby. Let the baby roll around on it, like treating his own child. Soon Rachel became pregnant again and gave birth to their second child with another baby. Rachel can't handle it. On consideration, Rachel decides to quit her job and become a housewife. Focus on taking care of children at home. In this way, the task of making money at home was handed over to John alone. John was suffocated by the huge mortgage. John became busier and busier with his work 
10 days and half a month away from home. Rachel takes care of the two children alone at home, and every time she finally puts the children to sleep, she just can enjoy a moment of peace. But as soon as Marley heard the noise across the street, he started tearing down his house again. The children were woken up and went on crying. Taking care of two children and one dog every day makes Rachel exhausted. She and John had a violent argument that day. John is also full of grievances. His colleague went to the New York Times, which was John's biggest dream, but he could not leave easily because the burden of his family was on him. In order to earn money to support his family, he gave up his dream and chose to stay and work here. After calming down, the two apologized to each other. In fact, they are all using their own efforts to make the family can be better. And a third child was born. Rachel said sincerely to John on his birthday. Actually, I always knew your dream was to go to the New York Times and write better articles for a wider audience. But you gave it up for us. Now, you go after your dreams. John shook his head and said, Do that. I'm not going to uproot us. We've got our friends. The kids enjoy school. And I got my poker. You read New York Times articles every day. And you sit in the car for five minutes before you go home. I know you're not satisfied with your life. It's time to change. Where you go, where is our family? Soon, the John family moved to London with Marley. Starting a new life. Every day after John gets off work, the family and Marley played rugby on the lawn. A family of six spent spring, summer, autumn and winter. Lately Marley's movements have slowed down, and it's hard to climb the stairs. John wanted to take Marley for a walk, only to find that Marley was missing. Rachel and John searched around, and finally found the dying Marley, under the trees in the forest. Bobby says dogs, and they're gonna die. They go away to do it. John takes Marley to the pet hospital. The doctor told him that Marley was very ill. He may leave at any time. John was confident that Marley would survive, and eventually Marley did. But its physical strength is not as good as before. And it's no longer the lively demolition dog. John had to slow down and wait for Mary, when he was out for a walk now. Half a year later, Marley finally collapsed. You know what made you such a great dog is you loved us every day, no matter what. That's an amazing thing. You know how much we love you. On this day, family members fought back tears and said a sad farewell to Marley. She couldn't bear to see Marley being euthanized. John was heartbroken. Before being sent to the operating table, he stroked Marley over and over again and gradually closed his eyes with the drug injection. When Marley died, John's family buried him in their yard. Family gathered around Marley's grave and they all wrote a letter to Marley. Rachel removes the necklace from her neck that Marley swallowed, and places it next to Marley. For people, it may be just a dozen years, but for them, that's their whole life. Care if you're rich or poor, clever or dull, smart or dumb, give them your heart, and I'll give you his. How many people can you say that about? How many people can make you feel rare and pure and special? Please follow me if you special? like my video. I am Lady. Thank you for watching.